Welcome everyone. This is Dina from Mark's Group Live. Happy to be reviewing with you how to get started with Zoho Sign. After the video is over, feel free to email us at support at marksgrouplive.com for any questions on this subject or anything else Zoho. Be sure to rate this class as well, helping out your fellow Zoho users as well as us to improve the video library. Here are some of the main points we're going to talk about today. First, Zoho Sign is a digital signature solution that can be used to sign and verify legally binding documents. With Zoho Sign, you have two options. You can either send documents to be signed or sign documents and send them out. And also, you don't have to worry because you can send documents to non-Zoho users and they can sign in as a guest to be able to access the documents and sign them. Let's go into Zoho Sign now so you can see how it works. So as you can see from the main homepage, Zoho Signs is actually pretty simple. You have two options. You can either send for signatures of a document or sign yourself. Click on send for signatures. You can see you have an option of either dragging files, uploading them, or importing them. I'm going to upload a file that I have. And I'm going to give it another name. I'm going to say test video agreement. Um, how many days do I want to give them to complete it? I'm going to give them seven days. How long is the agreement valid for? Either forever or you can select a date. I'm going to decide that they can only have one year for this document. And then um, document type. Right now, we have three, um, three files in here, three uh, types in here, NDA, HR agreement. I can add another one. I'll call this video agreement. Click out of it. And then you'll see that now we have all the initial three uh, agreement types. And then we, now we have the, the one we just added. Similarly, on the folder, you can choose there's none, HR, NDA. I'm going to choose, I'll make this video so that we have this. And then you can see now in the drop down, the video is now an option. You can add descriptions here if you need to. And the next thing you do is um, add the recipient. So you would add their email, their name, and then you have several options. You can choose for them to sign, to receive a copy, but not necessarily sign, or become an in person signer. And this would just give them the um, document that they need. Your other options are to leave a private note. Maybe for one person, you need them to do something a little different. You want to let them know. And then you also have, here's one of the security features within Zoho Sign. You can uh, set it up so there's an authentication code. So they, if this was on and they went to open the document, they would get probably by text or email a code that they would then have to enter before they would have access to the document. And then you would click the plus sign to add another recipient. Um, once you have more than one recipient, you can choose the order that you want the recipients to, to receive, um, receive the documents in. So you can say that one has to get it and sign it before two can, et cetera. You have some more settings here. You can set automatic reminders that maybe every um, five days, or in this case, this only has seven days to complete, so maybe we make it every three days to make sure uh, that they um, sign the document. You can leave a note for them, and then you can press continue. You need at least one. Okay. Um, I'll say I just need to receive a copy. Oh, it needs to be a signer, so I will become a signer. And now you can see that the document is here. And what you can do is you can um, add more fields to it. So you can add maybe the signature, company, you want the sign date. You can align these if you want. Um, and then you can decide here, like sign date is highlighted right now. So here on the right, 
you can specialize how you want this, if you want the minutes, um, how you want it, the formatting, and a description if you want to do that. And then you can always delete the field if you want as well. Um, and then if I press send, please verify the number of fields added for each recipient and confirm. Three fields added for uh, me, I can confirm that, but you can customize this for other people as well. So now you can see um, we've moved from sign to documents. And within documents, you can um, see that we have several options. We have sent, we have in progress, we have completed, declined, expired, draft, and bulk send. And then in terms of received, uh, you, can, you have the option of need your signature. So if we look here, we have, um, we can see the documents that we have. If we just hover over test video agreement, it tells you when it was um, created on, who the recipients are, and what the status is. And it's showing that the status is unopened. What file it's in, who the owner is, the recipient, um, the date, and then you have the actions that you can do. You can download the, doc the document, you can edit it, view it, send a reminder. Let's say you realize it's unopened and you want to let person know, you can send a reminder to them. Uh, you can recall the document if you decide either there's been an error or you no longer need it. Email the document, change ownership, edit as new, and save as a template. We'll save as a template so I can show you um, later on. Okay, so now, because I didn't rename this, this is now here as a template, and now we're in the templates section. So you can see we have two templates, or we can create a template of our own. And if you want, you um, this, as you can see, looks very similar to what we first uploaded. So now, just to show you, if we go back to sign, send for signatures, um, it all looks exactly the same. We go back to sign. The other option we have here is sign yourself. You can upload a document. I'll just upload the same one again. Let's let it go. And then you can say continue here. And then here you can make sure the signature, you can add in fields if you want the signature field on this document. Click on finish. And then you would add in who, um, who you want to get a copy of the signed agreement. And as you can see, um, oops. On this one, you can see that when we added the signature, we added the signature that's associated with this account on Zoho sign. And you can see the status here as well, You're, where um, we can see status, it's completed, it was been mailed, it's been viewed, and it's been signed. Again, we talked about templates. Sign forms are where you can um, create URLs for, for um, different websites to automate uh, s things that need to be signed. For instance, maybe you have an onboarding website and you have certain HR agreements that need to be signed. Rather than worrying about sending them out, maybe you have a website that has, tells somebody you know, every step they have to take and a sign form for some kind of HR agreement can be there as well and you can create those. Next we have reports. We have several options here. We have document status. And as you can see, we have a completed document for today uh, because that was um, what we had. And when you're in a report, you can make it the last seven days, um, last 30 days, or you can do custom dates. You can export it as a CSV, and it will show you, um, how, you know, we have the document here, so it would show you which documents are actually complete. Uh, if we go into, this is document status, if we go into completed, this only shows the completed documents. De declined, if we had declined documents. Recalled, if we recalled any, expiring, just as a warning, we did have the one that we gave them seven days to sign, so that's in here as an expiring. 
document type. Uh, we had saved that one as others, so that is showing up here, but you can see the other types of agreements that we had created. Uh, failed access, this would have to do with the authentication if that had been on. Document validity, uh, that's another option. Activity history, and this will just say what's been done with the various documents. So if you wanted to um, do some kind of audit, you had this information here. And then you have profile. So within settings, I mean, your profile is the first one. And what you can do is you can um, create your own signature. I had picked um, this one. Maybe you want this one instead or this one. Then you add your initial and then you end up with a signature. And then you can add um, other information under that signature to be formatted um, on the documents that you send out. Under settings, we also have notifications, um, and this is where you would determine, you know, would you get a notification if it's viewed, just signed, declined, etc. Admin um, to let an admin know if someone's been added or updated or deleted, and then the sign by me that whether the document has been received or is declined, etc. Also within setting, this is where you can include your contacts. And um, that way will make it easier if you're pulling in, if you're regularly sending contracts out or other documentation, you can send that out pretty easily. And then you'd have the trash for anything you've thrown away. And then we have a various number of admin functions as well. So going back to our takeaways, you can see that Zoho Sign is actually a fairly simple program with the goal of being a signature solution a digital sig signature solution um, for legally binding documents. And as you saw, you can either send a document to be signed or sign a document and then send it out. And you can also send documents to non-Zoho users and they can just sign in themselves. I hope you've enjoyed this video. And please check out our library for other training videos like this one. If you have any suggestions for other classes or for questions you have about Zoho, Feel free to email us at support at marksgrouplive.com. Thank you for watching.